Hey guys, so today I want to talk about the 1995 movie When You Were Sleeping. I watched it twice because one, when I've, if you guys don't know, I'm in Brazil right now and we actually lost internet and I had it downloaded for when I came for, for the flight here. And so I want to talk about it. It's really, especially because so many people say that rom-coms have gotten weirdly outlandish and bad throughout the years. I want to discuss the premise of this because this is not, not that this is a bad movie. I love the movie. I love the actors. We have great actors and like, it's it's a good, the acting in this is amazing. But the premise, the premise of this is outlandish and you cannot, you cannot say that it isn't. Basically, a Chicago C. TA? Is that what it is? Because in New York it's MTA. CTA worker falls in love with a man who she's never talked to before. Basically, he takes a train every day. She is like, love at first sight, crush on him, loves it. And then one day, he gets pushed into a train track and she saves him. <laughs> because, yay. Also, yay. Super cool that she saved him. She rushes to the hospital with the guy and speaks to herself and says we were going to get married the nurse accidentally takes that as her saying that they're engaged and that she is her fiance she is not and so for the rest of the movie she pretends to be his fiance while falling in love with guess who his brother his brother yeah his brother this is a 1995 movie i'm pretty sure it was in theaters when it came out i'm if you guys don't know i was born in 1995 so this movie is a little bit older than i am so many plot holes in this movie because here's the thing there's a lot of times where it's just like why didn't you just tell them the truth tell the family the truth she doesn't she doesn't at all tell the family the truth it's just that's out of the question we have sandra bullock in this i love sandra bullock she is mwah beautiful and amazing and it's just beautiful and amazing in this we have peter galligan gallagher he's the one who's sleeping and then bill what was his name okay yeah, pit bill yeah bill la, 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 la. bill pullman this is cute but like this would never happen in real life it just couldn't happen in real life it is so outlandish it's cute it's a cute movie i liked it it's they kind of know this is it this kind of falls into the almost Christmas movie category because it starts around Christmas and then ends around like I would say like the week of New Year's and she falls in love with her his brother like super fucking quickly like super fucking quickly like this is not even really a review more than a short discussion of how I feel about this super quickly we have like a week or two and they're in love which is every rom-com ever but especially in these type of scenarios where it's a high stress she's lying she's doing this also we also have the actual fiance at least for the most of the movie we believe that this person is their actual fiance she comes we finally see her and she literally is like well you broke up with me but i mean you're not supposed to have someone else and that's fine but then she just leaves she doesn't even pull up a fight. Like, we are, I am expecting a full on, like, this bitch is not your actual fiance. This is gonna, like, the lid, the lid. They're gonna, like, tell the truth. Like, she's gonna be forced to tell the truth. No. Like, she goes through almost with the marriage. <laughs> Until it's just like, yeah, we like each other. It's like, I just, I just want to know who wrote this movie and why this movie was written. And also, when they do get married, the, the ones that are supposed to be together, they get married and they go off on the train. It ends with them on the back of the train. And I just thought that was really like quirky and cute, but really undoable. I don't think you can actually do that in real life. There are so many plot holes in this movie. Again, I know, I know that this is a rom-com and rom-coms you don't have to take it seriously whatsoever, but there's so many. First of all, we find out like you just, it just follow through. How hard is it to have follow through? I assume that there is like um, missing scenes and things are taken out because no follow through, no follow through. 
on random shit. Like, the end of the movie, at least the clip that I was talking to you about, the part where she announces that she is not really the fiancé, and the way that they, like, get over, like, get past that moment is that they reveal that the fiancé that he originally had is actually married to someone, and it was, like, telenovela, like, drama, and they kind of just wash over the fact that, um, this lady has been lying for, like, a week or two about being his fiancé, because I guess he likes her now. The family didn't really even get upset that she lied. How is that the whole, re no, your whole relationship is based on a lie, so how does that work? So I rewatched the ending because I forgot exactly what happened. Basically, the brother, the one, our main character of this movie, proposes to Lucy on her last day of work. First of all, how did he know that was her last day of work? Which, I mean, whatever, fine, cool. But they didn't even date. They went on one date. They talked to each other. Like, they never really dated, and they're just going to get married. That seems like it's romantic, but, like, kind of not the smartest thing. Like, you should probably date the person you're going to marry, hang out with them a little bit more, you know? It was cute, though. It was a cute ending. Like, like I said, this would not happen in real life. So the ending feels really rushed. Like, I feel like you should have a few more minutes, honestly. I feel like that with a lot of movie stuff, so. Mm. Also, how do you feel? How is Peter going to feel? Is his name is, yeah, Peter. How is Peter going to feel? They are dating his almost wife, kind of? I don't know. This movie just gives me more questions than it answers. This is not a review. This is me just legitimately just speaking out loud my things that I feel. Obviously, I probably missed the part or didn't talk about some things. But this is... You guys like these rambly videos because this is... I'm just doing this because it's Vlogmas and I need to get videos out. So, yeah. I might do a better video on while you were sleeping. Like a real, real review. But because I only have a little bit of battery... And I have to film a bunch of videos. This is what you get, rambly, rambly Sheila video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.